Hi there, Libras. Welcome to your tarot reading. So um, the first thing that I'm picking up here from this spread is um, I feel like there is an element about you um, feeling a little bit either neglected, underappreciated, or in a lot of conflict with a relationship partner. And you might be looking at other options. You might also be fantasizing about, you know, other things that other people outside of the relationship or even um, fantasizing about, you know, if I wasn't married, what would my life look like? If I didn't have children, what would my life look like? And I did this, um, I, I'm getting a similar vibe to another sign and I think it might have been, I can't remember if it is cancer i think it might be cancer so if you're dealing with a cancer or if you have cancerian traits you might want to watch that video um but i i just feel like all of it is all speculative it's all in the realm of fantasy it's all in the realm of thoughts and you're not really doing the i hope you're not taking the concrete steps to make it a reality and you know pursue somebody else or be in another relationship or step out of your relationship but i feel like there's a big element here about wanting to escape wanting to pursue a, a different relationship fantasizing about another person possibly a third party outside of your relationship wondering what it feels like to date another person wondering what it feels like to be with somebody that really appreciates you and that really puts you on a pedestal and that um where the the relationship is very nice and fluid and you know emotionally supportive and light-hearted and fun and where you can have a lot of great communication with the other person with the three of cups this is a card about social outing, social engagement, social interactions, where there's a lot of um, there's a lot of fun. It's a little bit less heavy, you know. Uh, it can lead to something great and something really divine, where you feel like you have that sense of an, an emotional connection with another person. But because the three of cups is also joined here with the two of coins. I feel like there might be third party interfering in your relationship, interfering in your level of commitment with your current relationship partner. You might be as well juggling two options, juggling two relationships, two relationship prospects, and you might kind of um, have to deal with the consequences for this week if that's the case, because I feel like you might be dropping the ball, okay? You might be like um, so much into, you might be so distracted and, and just, you know, uh, sometimes we get sloppy. Sometimes we just um, drop the ball. Sometimes we text somebody and we forget to delete it from our phone and then our significant other, our girlfriend, boyfriend finds out. Sometimes we leave like a paper trail behind when we go on dates and we don't throw away the receipts. Or when we respond to somebody on social media and, you know, it, it's, it's public domain, everyone sees it. So I feel this element about, um, you know, not being able to cover your tracks for those of you who are... Um, dating you might also be dealing with somebody as well who's not a who's not covering their tracks and there will be um, arguments um, coming into the picture for this week and so be careful about this energy what is meant to come out will come out and it's a good time to you know deal with it it's a good time to talk it out. It's a good time to get to the bottom of it. It's a good time to decide on what you need to do because I feel like there are no accidents. If things slip out, if um, things get uncovered, if secrets be, um, become unearthed, it, it's, it's for a good reason. It's divine timing. And it's time that you kind of deal with it, okay? So I get a big major energy of somebody who is fantasizing about somebody else outside the relationship there could also be like social media pictures messages text communication the seven of cups is greatly about uh, online type of communication um and I'm, I'm seeing like you know where are you what time should I come over? Like things like that. And this is greatly about juggling options. So 
whatever it is that you're dealing with with your partner your partner is the five of swords and the five of swords is a situation where there's a lot of conflict one person has all the jewels and the other person is has nothing so there is a lot of things here that indicates to me you might be financially bound wound up with another person or bound to another person you might have children together you might have assets a uh, joint bank account and so if you want to separate or if you want to divorce you feel like they're going to take everything I'm also seeing this element about you going out and purchasing a lot of items under your name just so if this were to happen um the other person won't take everything that's under your name. So I see like, you know, somebody going on a spending spree or somebody being frivolous with their money as well and then there's like arguments over finances, over resources between you and a relationship partner. But this is a a really bad card in a love reading because it indicates selfishness. It indicates keeping scores. It indicates, you know, winning at an argument or in a fight at all expense. And then if you're juggling, this might indicate you know all parties walking away from you when the truth comes to light so i feel like there's a lot at stake here and so this is a week for you to tread very carefully you're on uh if this is you you're on thin ice if this is your partner they're on thin ice because there's like some type of a paper trail there's some type of a possibly separation proceeding a uh, talks of separation or there's like um two party two people that are living together but not really talking to each other so you might live together but you're out they dating they're out dating and your parents your family everyone in the village is getting involved and telling you let's not divorce you know don't divorce what's going to happen to the kids so i feel like you're staying together for the wrong reasons for financial security or it's like both parties just feel like they can no longer go on but everybody around them is like no you have to you have to do it for the kids you can't be selfish and and you know divorce or separate so i feel like there's a lot of other people's expectations influencing your decision and you might feel very trapped you don't want to disappoint or you don't want to face the social stigma or the social ramifications of you know uh being a divorcee or leaving the family or you know leaving the kids or whatever it is and so you feel your only reprieve your only solution is to step out of the relationship or at least somebody feels that way and so this is a card here about you know um not listening to not listening to naysayers uh follow your own instinct but at the same time it's like if you're different from everybody else you're always going to stick out like a sore thumb so it might not have anything to do with what you do but it's almost like you're the the target you're always the target no matter what you do so if they are already you know form an opinion about you even when you're at their best they're still going to talk even if they're uh you're you know like a a saint they're still going to find ways to kind of tear you down so no matter what you do you can never be perfect in their eyes and so you might be dealing with a person that can be very critical if you are the critical one you have to aim to be a lot more loving and compassionate and understanding but i feel like if you're dealing with another person who's very critical no matter what you do no matter what you all the effort you put on uh, into the relationship no matter what it feels like it's not enough so you're not getting the thanks and the appreciation that you deserve in this partnership and i feel like it's not just the partner it might be their family it might be their clan it might be you know the 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 fact that you both are very different and so they see you no matter what you do they see you as an outsider and then i also feel as well for those who are single one person that you're dealing with is i feel like you're naturally there's this um duality here being drawn to two very different types of people 
one is like the husband or the wife material, and I, I uh, get this image of this woman wearing pearls. She looks like very proper. She's um, you know, she's got like a lace dress on. She's got um, her fingernails are painted. She looks immaculate, and she just looks like she would be an ideal、uh, mother. So you might be drawn to somebody like that. And then the other person is like this, very different, very eccentric. Beat to their own drums, doesn't care what other people say. So in a way, this is very refreshing because they're nonconformist, and you guys, Libras, you guys are conformists. So I feel like it's an opposite subtract type of an energy. You might have an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, and then you might be attracted to a fire sign here with this Wands energy,、uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And so the opposites attract. Creates a lot of passion, creates a lot of chemistry. It can also create a lot of temptation. And then for those who are single, you have the, here two options on the table.、Uh, one person is really intelligent. The other person is a lot more.、Um, not that they're not intelligent, but they're a lot more. One person, I feel like you're so much alike that you're just like、uh, uh, it leads to a lot of conflict because they're just as you know articulate as you are. Whereas the other person's a little bit more like I don't care,、uh, I don't care about arguing, I don't care about you know who wins. It's just a matter of perspective. So I feel like they're they're looking at life from a more giving, a more forgiving as well perspective, and you like that. Because they harmonize well with your energy, and then the other relationship is very conflict-ridden.、Uh, so you have somebody who's picky, and then you have another person that is very、uh, lenient, very easygoing, and naturally, you know, as a Libra,、um, I feel like you're drawn to people naturally that are well-mannered, that don't pick fights, that are not passive. They they don't have to be passive. But they have to be very cordial and polite and dignified in the way that they communicate. Whereas the other partner is a little bit more cutthroat, is a little bit more like my way or the highway. And so, you know, I feel like it's a no-brainer as to who you should choose. But once again, I feel like there are two options. And I also feel as well there is a lot of temptation from third parties for those who are attached. Okay. Um, for those who are lightly dating,、um, give it a little bit more time before you you narrow down your options. I feel like there's still a lot of things in the air, up in the air right now that you're not seeing clearly with this Seven of Cups energy and Three of Cups. Take a little bit more time to 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 narrow down your options because I feel like it needs to.、Um, You you need more time. You need more time to get to know somebody. You need more time to kind of fully understand the the, the situation, and make the right choice in your partnership. Okay.、Um, other areas of your life, and this is going to serve as your spiritual advice. There's a lot of work that needs to be done for this week. A lot of catching up is what I'm seeing, and this wheel of fortune. For some reason, when I see it, I think of a clock. It keeps turning. It keeps turning, right? Like time slips away from us. The longer we procrastinate, the longer we sit there and fantasize and 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 you know ruminate and not make a decision. Time doesn't stop for any mortal. It, it keeps turning. It keeps moving, and so I feel like there's a lot of time wasted in. There's a lot of time wasted when it comes to. I feel like in your work environment, but also in your romantic sector, where you're like this, you're not making a choice, you're not listening to your intuition, you're not being decisive. You might also be very conflict avoidant, and this card, Seven of Wands, is showing up twice. This is a card about fighting your own battles, no matter how hard it is. This is a card about standing up for your truth, even though. No one else agrees with it. If you believe it to be your truth, it is your truth. You need to defend it. You need to stop catering to people that might not agree with you. Because if we constantly cater to other people, we're carrying this burden. We're carrying this load that's not authentically ours. 
or keeping our head down to avoid conflict, to avoid, you know, uh, confrontation. And in the process, we have to like walk on eggshells around everybody. We have to like um, skirt thin ice, and we have to be very, very diplomatic and very methodical about what we do, not to step on other people's toes, even though they deserve it. So I feel like there's a lot of things here about you coming into your own sense of authenticity, and making decisions that will allow you to kind of align with your own values and what the what you want out of life, and be bold and be courageous and really stand up for yourself. So I feel like there's a lot here about you know time is moving. Are you wasting your time or are you really living out your authentic truth? And are you sitting like sitting on the sidelines of your life, watching everything unfold, watching the time slip away from you, or are you going to just you know work up the courage to do something you've always wanted to do, and not care about what other people expect from you? So it's it's almost like um, wanting to do something different, wanting to travel, wanting to learn new things, wanting a change of career, even wanting a change in a housing environment, wanting to put an end to this situation where you have. Where you feel very, very alone, where you feel like unsupported, where you feel like the other person is supposed to be there for you, you're doing all the work, they're having all the fun, and it's like, where's the fairness and the justice in that? Like, you're doing the work, you're carrying this heavy load, and they're looking elsewhere, ready to bounce, and they're they're coming in in and out, and you know, it's like. Where's your work? What are you doing? Why am I stuck doing all the, these things? And so, there are major, major、um, reassessment that needs to happen, and I feel like it permeates all aspects of your life. I feel work, and this is going to be a very fast-paced type of a week. And I feel like for some of you,、um, you might have traveled, come back, and then work piled up right while you're away, and you have to tackle them on head on. And then I also feel this element about. Not wanting to take sides, not wanting to choose between two people as well. So,、um, Libras,、um, let me just pull out one card for you, and I like this deck, so I'm going to use this deck. What is your spiritual advice? We have here the Queen of Coins. The wheel of fortune and the devil, and this is pretty much telling you, you know, you're at a point where financially, you're on top of the world. You're going to be okay, so you don't need to to base your decision on financial factors. With the wheel of fortune coming out again in this deck, it basically denotes that times are changing, times are coming in, and it is really important for you to break away from this old habits,、um, toxic people, toxic work situations, and playing puppet, playing puppet, quote unquote, to a higher being that you don't respect or that you fear. So I feel like there is this big, big fear of. It's like somebody that's keeping you down, and they do it out of conflict because they know that you don't like to fight, and they also do it because they're they're a bully. They're just a big bully, and so if it's a boss in a work environment who's like dumping a lot of responsibilities on you, and they're like, "Oh, do it, do it," and then we'll give you a promotion. You don't need that promotion, not at the expense of your dignity. If it's a relationship partner who dangles, you know.、Um, Divorce or separation, or I'll take the kids, or you know I'm going to take all your money. If they're dangling things in front of you to get you to do what they want, you need to come out from it and and you know cut yourself loose. He's got a pair of scissors and he's going to cut himself loose. So if that's the case, you the time is now, and I feel like this is a, a more of a life changing type of a, a week for you. This is not something that's popping up this week. It's something that you have dealt with for quite some time, possibly the past two months, and you need to come to some type of a clear resolution. You're going to be fine, so you need to, you know, take care of the problem. 
okay? We can't run away from it anymore. It's time to act and don't be like this, okay? Um, for those of you dealing with, let me see, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I feel like that might be one of the relationship partners that you need to kind of break away from. I hope the reading is helpful, Libra. I'll be back next week, okay? And uh, I wish you all the best. Take care.